Hello crochet and friends! This week's video is a little bit late as I've been recovering from a cold infection, as you can probably hear from my voice. In today's video we will be making yet another lazy scar with puff stitches. This pattern has only two repeating rows, which are very easy to remember, and the pattern can be easily adjusted to many other crochet projects. In fact, I'm thinking about using crochet cotton thread size 10 and making a table runner with this stitch. I think it will look very pretty. Before we start the tutorial, I would like to thank all of my supporters. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, for buying my crochet patterns and for supporting me as an independent crochet designer. I want to share that I now created a page on coffee.com. You may or may not have heard about this website. It's relatively new. Basically, it's a platform that allows people to support artists and creators. So if you would like to buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, a skein of yarn, you can now do it through coffee.com. Thank you! To make the scarf, I will be using Soft Yarn by Red Heart and a hook size I, 5.5 mm. The multiple for this stitch is 6 plus 5, and for my scarf, I will start with chain 35. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here I have 35 chains and I'm ready to start my first row. Into the first chain from the hook I will make a double crochet. We never count the chain on the hook, we always start counting from the next chain. 1, 2, 3, 4. So into this chain I make a double crochet. Next I make 2 chains. 1, 2, and into the same chain where I just made a double crochet, I make another double crochet. And over here, these three chains, the skipped chains, will count as my first double crochet in row one. Now I make three chains, one, two, three, and I'm going to skip five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and into the next chain, I will work a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. So first a double crochet, then two chains, one, two, and into the same chain, I make another double crochet. Now again, I will make three chains just the way I did over here. One, two, three. And over here, I skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And into the next chain, I work a double crochet, two chains, and another double crochet. And I continue crocheting this way until the end of this row. Here I am at the end of this row, I just made double crochet in chain 2 and double crochet into this chain and I have one chain left and I finish this row with a double crochet into this last chain. So the first row is now complete. I start row 2 with chain 3 and turn and these 3 chains will count as my first double crochet and now into the chain 2 space over here I will work a puff stitch. So yarn over, I insert the hook and draw up a loop. Yarn over, I insert the hook and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook and draw up a loop and I do it one more time. So I did that a total of four times and now I have eight loops on my hook over here and this last chain. Now yarn over and I draw yarn through eight loops. Now I have two on the hook and again yarn over and I finish them and my puff stitch is ready. Next I make three chains. One, two, three and into this chain three space I make a single crochet. Now again, I make three chains, one, two, three, and into this chain two space over here, I will work a puff stitch again. So yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop. And I do that a total of four times. And 
and my puff stitch is ready again three chains one two three and a single crochet into the next chain three space three chains and now a puff stitch into the next chain two space and I will continue crocheting this way until the end of this row here I am at the end of row two I just made a puff stitch and over here this three chains remember we skipped these three chains and I said that they will count as the first double crochet so I finished this row with a double crochet into the top of those three chains like this and my second row is complete I start row 3 with 3 chains and turn and again these 3 chains count as my first double crochet and now in top of the next puff stitch I will work a double crochet, 2 chains and another double crochet so first a double crochet then 2 chains, 1, 2 and into the same stitch another double crochet Next I make 3 chains, 1, 2, 3 and I'm going to skip these chain 3 spaces and in top of the next puff stitch I will work a double crochet, 2 chains, 1, 2 and another double crochet. Now again 3 chains, 1, 2, 3 I skip the chain 3 spaces and I work a double crochet, 2 chains and another double crochet on top of my puff stitch and I will continue crocheting this way until the end of this row. Here I am at the end of row 3, I just made a double crochet, 2 chains and a double crochet on top of the last puff stitch and over here I have three chains left these are my three turning chains so I finished this row with a double crochet into the top chain of those three turning chains and row three is now finished and from this point all I need to do is to repeat rows two and three until I have a scarf of my desired length over here I crocheted several more rows of the pattern and you can see how beautiful and lacy this stitch looks and all I need to do is to continue repeating rows 2 and 3 until I reach the scarf of my desired length and I will have to end with row 2 so that the top and the bottom of my scarf match on the bottom of my scarf I started with this row where I have this chain spaces and if I end with row 3 I will also have chain spaces on the top so that the bottom and the top will match and these chain spaces on both ends of the scarf would be a good placement for fringe if you'd like to add fringe to your lacy scarf thank you for watching my video tutorial I hope you enjoyed it happy crocheting